State is helping to relieve a difficult situation for visitors in one of the state's most popular tourist spots in the summertime. For decades, the town of Brantford has been trying to place a permanent public restroom in the otherwise tourist-friendly village of Stony Creek. Chief political correspondent Mark Davis tells us the long wait is finally almost over. Thousands of visitors take one of the tours of the 34 Thimble Islands off Stony Creek this time of year. It's a very popular destination. 100 years ago, President William Howard Taft had a summer White House on one of the islands, and people have been coming here ever since. Stony Creek is one of those quintessentially unique Connecticut shoreline communities. Wonderful to visit on a day like this, until you need the potty. There have never been public restrooms here. To relieve the situation, porta potties were brought in about 10 years ago, but they fill up to capacity every day, making it a rather tough go, if you know what I mean. Brian Infantino owns the Thimble Marine Service. His dad owns Sea Miss Thimble Island Cruises. He says the problem goes way back. The residents for years and, and all the local businesses have requested that something be done about the problem. I used to be on the uh, Stony Creek Association. They have an old log book that they were talking about permanent toilets in 1922 or something like that. Today, Governor Malloy may have become the first governor in history to come to a town to announce a grant to help build a public restroom noting that it'll help promote tourism. If you get out, up with nature calls and you can't do anything, it, you can spoil a trip real bad. The town has raised half a million dollars to put a real comfort station in the post office building. The state will kick in the other half million. It's a wonderful place to go this time of year. And next year around this time, there'll also be a nice place to go. Really is pretty down here. This grant is one of several that the governor announced today for small towns like this for projects that they need and have wanted for a long time but can't really afford to do on their own. In Brantford, Mark Davis, News 8.